ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 16th day of October. We've got a weather change coming up. Let's talk about it, and hey, 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 that's nice. Captured that one about 625 yesterday. That's from the Gulf Shore Sky Cam. Uh, looking right there at the setting sun going down over the horizon. Uh, looking west from the top of the Phoenix, all sweets. Love it when the uh, sun goes down during our 6 o'clock news on television. Get some great shots this time of the year. Uh, early this morning at the somewhat insane hour of 5 o'clock, there's a look at Birmingham from the top of the Daniel Building looking south. And the lights of the city of Gadsden there coming from the Sky Cam up on Lookout Mountain. You can see uh, the water vapor satellite imagery with that nice push of cold air coming and the moisture in advance of our front. And temperatures are brisk and chilly behind the front, 30s and 40s over a large area. And uh, that gradient is pretty tight right behind the front. The front itself running from near Indianapolis down to about Shreveport, Louisiana. Uh, so again today, we'll be close to 80, but uh, tomorrow the high will drop at least 10 degrees. And will it rain? Yes, it will rain a little bit along the front uh, later today, tonight, and tomorrow morning, but I don't think it rains all that much. Uh, this thing has one inch uh, over around Aliceville and Pickens County, but uh, I think most spots will get a quarter inch or less. I would not count on a big rain event. The better rain will be off to the uh, west. And in the tropics, look at Hurricane Omar. That thing ramped up to a Category 3 last night coming across the Virgin Islands. And I'm sure there's probably a pretty good bit of damage down there. We'll find out later today from the uh, news reporters. But that's beginning to lift away from the Virgin Islands. And now nothing ahead of that thing but open water. Uh, there's the track through uh, early next week. And that will pass well to the east of Bermuda. Hooks on to the uh, right over toward uh, Europe, actually. So obviously no impact here. Here's the GFS at 1 o'clock today. This is the uh, OZ run. And again, ridging here. Uh, which uh, means the front will be passing through slowly. We'll get a trough going here, but it's going to take a little time. There's your surface front at uh, 1 o'clock today. A little northwest of here. Looks like the showers should ease into northwest Alabama this afternoon. Uh, the better chance of showers here will be tonight into tomorrow. The latest run a little slower with this thing. We won't change anything at this point. We'll still kind of forecast the better chance of showers from roughly 6 o'clock this evening until noon tomorrow. And uh, again, uh, the GFS a little wetter here, but I, I still think, uh, based on the setup, maybe a quarter inch or less. And then uh, tomorrow night we clear just in time for high school football, turn nice and cool, and there's your trough on Saturday over the uh, eastern part of the country, a good northwest flow here, and you can see the uh, isobars that are running perpendicular to the thickness lines, and that means a nice uh, shot of cooler air flowing in here. Uh, we might be in the 60s all day with a good north breeze, bright and sunny. Uh, Sunday morning, we'll be down in the 40s. And during the day, Sunday, lots of sun with highs up in the uh, low to mid-70s. A beautiful fall weekend. And uh, Monday of next week, we will be dry. Tuesday of next week, same deal. We'll go to uh, midweek Wednesday, uh, midweek uh, next week. That's Wednesday. Look at the trough coming out of the uh, Plain States. And Thursday, that thing really rotates through here. And, and you know, the timing is changing almost every run uh, down below that. That almost hints the uh, better chance of rain could be Wednesday night and Thursday morning here. Uh, so the confidence is not high on exactly when it rains, but it should rain toward the uh, latter part of next week. And then uh, Friday the 24th, now all of a sudden it's gone. Uh, we've seen some runs that give that day as the target day, Friday, but again it's beginning to look like it might be Thursday of next week. And then a peak at that next weekend, this is uh, Saturday the 25th, a little disturbance uh, produces some rain off to the west, and then uh, this upper-level feature moves down toward Pensacola on Sunday the 26th, and that pushes the heavier rain over Florida. But, yeah, we know that's voodoo country. And at the end of the forecast period, Halloween, October 31st, and it's the same deal. You know, confidence is low in any specific solution out here. Uh, this time the long-wave trough is over the west. We've seen that thing all over the board, but that uh, if, if that's right, would flood the uh, western part of the country with cold air. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.
Switches the 